Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. SSD vs HDD. What's the difference? The main difference between a solid state drive SSD and a hard disk drive HDD is how data is stored and accessed. An HDD is a traditional storage device that uses mechanical spinning platters and a moving read write head to access data. SSDs are newer, faster drives that store data on instantly accessible memory chips. Until the late 2000s, when you bought a new hard disk drive or personal computer, your hard disk storage choices were limited to size and speed, perhaps 5400 or 7200 rotations per minute. Today, when you buy a new PC, you have two very different options. You can get one with an SSD or one with an HDD. The laptop on the left above comes with a traditional hard disk drive, while the one on the right has a more modern solid state drive. While SSDs and HDDs are both storage devices, the way they work is quite different. HDDs in an HDD, an enclosure contains a series of platters covered by a ferromagnetic coating. The direction of the magnetization represents the individual bits. Data is written and read by a fast-moving head, similar to the way vinyl record albums work. Since all of these pieces are mechanical, the hard disk is the slowest and most fragile component of any computer. SSDs SSDs are newer types of disks that store information on flash memory which consist of individual memory cells storing bits that are instantly accessible by the controller Learn all about SSDs here Why are SSDs useful for laptops SSDs are often used in laptops because they're non-mechanical Solid state drives require less power which translates into better battery life while lower priced laptops still come with traditional cheaper hard drives most mid range to high end machines come with an ssd while hard disks have moving parts solid state drives are shock resistant if you drop your laptop while the read write head of a hard drive is in motion which it usually is it could result in data failure this doesn't happen with ssds but it isn't always an either or choice Hybrid computers have both drive types, the operating system, OS, apps, and the most used files are installed on an SSD, while other data sits on an HDD, which is typically larger and less expensive. Using your SSD to run your OS and apps is a great way to increase SSD performance. How much faster are solid state drives compared to hard disk drives? The speed difference between solid state drives vs hard disk drives is significant. SSDs are extremely fast in all areas but the speed difference is more pronounced when performing certain tasks such as sequential read write operations the speed difference of an SSD vs hard drive is most apparent when copying and moving huge files HDDs can copy 30 to 150 megabyte per second megabyte per second while standard SSDs perform the same action at speeds of 500 megabytes per second Newer NVMe SSDs can even show speeds of up to an astounding 3000 to 3500 megabytes per second. With an SSD, you can copy a 20 gigabytes movie in less than 10 seconds, while a hard disk would take at least 2 minutes. Upgrading your Mac to an SSD or installing an SSD in your PC will give it a significant speed boost. Small 4K read write operations. Most of the time, when you run your OS, open basic programs or browse the web, you're actually opening and manipulating thousands of smaller files, which are stored in small blocks of data, usually sized at 4K. The faster your disk can read and write these 4K blocks, the faster and snappier your system operates. With HDDs, the speed ranges from 0.1 to 1.7 megabytes per second. SSDs and NVMe SSDs operate at much faster speeds of 50 to 250 megabytes per second. To demonstrate the speed difference between an HDD vs SSD, compare the benchmarks below, we used Crystal Disk Mark. The numbers on the left are from a 7-year-old HP 630 laptop. On the right, we are using a newer 2020 MacBook Pro running Windows 10 with an NVMe SSD. What's the lifespan of an SSD? While it's true that SSD cells have a limited lifespan, this isn't really an issue today. The myths surrounding SSD lifespans are based on assumptions from the 1990s and early 2000s. In theory, if more data is written to a cell, it wears out faster. A current SSD cell can handle approximately 3000 write cycles, which doesn't sound like much at first. 
But thanks to the principle of wear leveling, the SSD spreads right operations evenly across all cells to minimize cell death and prolong the lifespan of the drive. Additionally, modern SSDs contain spare cells that replace dead cells. This is called bad block management, and it's why the larger the SSD, the longer its lifespan. If you were to write data to an SSD 24-7, it would still take decades for the drive to break down. But if you're worried, you can always run a hard drive test to monitor its health. Reliability Since SSDs don't contain moving parts, they're less prone to damage if you drop or bang your computer. This also makes SSDs more reliable in extreme environments and in high or low temperatures. You can typically expect a modern SSD to last at least as long as an HDD. Security and data recovery If your drive fails, you can usually recover the data on it. This is true with both HDDs and SSDs, though with a few key differences. Since SSDs are newer, many data recovery services charge more to work with them. But since they're faster, you might be able to recover your data faster than with an HDD. SSDs use the trim command to destroy data when files are deleted. This is part of how SSDs equalize wear across all cells, but it also makes it harder to recover deleted files. Data recovery for SSDs is best handled by professionals in a lab with specialized equipment and software. Whichever type of drive you use, the best way to protect your data is with regular backups to external storage devices or cloud storage. You won't need to worry about SSD data recovery when you already have a fresh copy.